Well, welcome aboard to the International Space Station and the crew of Expedition 63. It's an exciting day for us all as uh, we bid farewell to our two friends and colleagues, Bob and Doug, as they complete the, uh, the journey of this amazing test, test mission. Before I hand the mic over uh, to Bob and Doug, I, I do want to make mention of this uh, very special flag. It has deep, deep uh, space history getting deeper as this flag will return to Earth with the, the crew, crew Dragon guys and uh, spend a little bit of time on Earth and very soon make a trip uh, to the moon um, in short order. So, um, Doug, the flag's all yours. It's been a pleasure, and here you go. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for this. Uh, yeah, this flag has spent some time up here uh, on the order of nine years uh, since we dropped it off on STS-135 after it flew on STS-1. So very proud to return this uh, flag home and uh, see what's next for it uh, on its journey to the moon. Uh,
Uh, as we are uh, waiting for uh, the crew to uh, to get out of the plane, they're with their families now, but we just got a touchdown of them a few moments ago, touching down 6.27 uh, p.m. Central Time, uh, touching down here in Ellington. Just five hours ago, they were in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, splashing down off of the coast of Pensacola. Uh, we're expected to uh, hear some words from them as they get situated. Five hours ago, we were bobbing around in the Gulf of Mexico, so I feel like it's pretty good that we got this far in five hours. But uh, I think the, the biggest thing that we would both like to talk about is just to thank uh, five hours ago, we were bobbing around in the Gulf of Mexico, so I feel like it's pretty good that we got this far in five hours. But uh, I think the, the biggest thing that we would both like to talk about is just to thank... Uh, you can see Steve and Kathy here and, and Elon. You know, this has been a uh, quite an odyssey the last five, six, seven, eight years, five years since Bob and I started uh, working on this program. And to be where we are now, the first crewed flight of uh, Dragon is just unbelievable. Uh, we said it before, just a tremendous privilege to be part of this program, to be part of NASA and to spend two months on uh, the International Space Station with uh, one of the greatest uh, uh, officers, crewmates, astronauts, Chris Cassidy. It just was a, a, a real pleasure for both of us. And I'm sure Bob will talk about the spacewalks, but to, just to see those two work uh, out on the International Space Station, you're not going to see anything like that again. It just was, uh, it was just amazing to be part of that. And then, you know, the flight of uh, Dragon on Falcon, and then the reentry today. It's uh, it's a lot to process. As I said five hours ago, we were in a spaceship bobbing around, making prank satellite phone calls to whoever we could get a hold of, which was kind of fun, by the way. As we went through our years as astronauts here at the Johnson Space Center, uh, we got to live through a, a, a big chunk of the shuttle era and uh, a big chunk of the assembly of the space station. Uh, when the space shuttles uh, retired, when Doug took his uh, final flight uh, to wrap that up, I think it was a sad day for us in the because there's something special about having that capability to launch and, and bring your own astronauts home. And uh, uh, we went through a lot of years without that capability, and I think we're both super, super proud to have been just a small part of the team that uh, accomplished bringing those space flights back to the Florida coast and bringing that capability back to America. 